Hello friends, once again welcome to Abhyas Training Institute. So in last video we have seen how we can filter any data and like we have designed IIR Butterworth filter, low pass filter and in that video we have generated one uh, random signal so I will use that signal for reference in today's video and what we will try to do we will find out the uh, peak of that signal or width of the peak, height of the peak and location of the peak. So what we have done, we have uh, I have taken the same signal that we have generated in the last video, okay. Then we have to find out the peak of that signal. So to find out the peak, there is one command uh, provided by MATLAB, find peaks. So we will use same command, okay. So let me type here, find peaks. So and this command will, this command take few argument. So first argument is signal for which we want to find out the peak so our signal is our data is x then if we have at the x axis that's we have that x axis so i will take a t then let me just run it so if i will uh, type find peak and, and data and time axis then and if i will run this so we can see we will have that peak plotted in our signal so those are the peak that we are getting so this is the peak we are seeing in the figure I and mean, what if we want to see that um, uh, values in our com, like a work space we want that uh, output information so what we have to do we have to take okay so first will be our peak second will be locations okay and we will put equal sign then that we so you can see we have two variables location and peak but this time uh, it didn't print our plot why because we are taking a argument and we are not plotting it and if you want to plot it just what we can do i prefer this way only so i will write here now we can see we will have both print as well as variables okay now you if you can see we are not getting the height and width of those as well so what if we want to return that so let me write height and width okay now you can see we have two more variables height and width as well and but if we want to see that height and width over here and want to see the references okay so there are few more command that we can means argument that we can use over here for example we will do one thing if we have one signal and we want to take this peak this peak and this peak and we know the threshold for this peak is 1.5 so we want the peak whose those peak has crossed 1.5 mark okay so what we will do simply we will we have to define the minimum peak width okay ah, sorry height minimum peak height so i will write min peak peak height and i will type 1.5 so it should return 3 only okay so let me run it okay so now you can see it is running only 3 but you are seeing there oh it's running all of the values no it's not because you have not provided that argument in this plot well, so we can do that let me run it again now you can see first uh, argument is uh, means that the value is coming on uh, x axis is minus 1.1 and y value is 1.9 so we can see same value we are getting over here and if you want to see the location you know how what we need to do so we can do is our peaks and if we want to take a first then we can get that value as well okay so and there are few more things that we have to check for this command so here you can see the argument and everything so if we want to find the local maximum what we will do we will use find peak command okay so find peaks will return everything you should go through that document as well so this is how we can find a peak and we can refine our search and what if you want to look the height of the ever signal like if you want to see uh, see all the information in your figure like this here you can see that it's as a height and width as well so we can use attenuate okay so this will take two argument uh, one is extent and another one is peak 
X10 will you will be used for location, height, everything, and peak will be used for, for peak. By default, is peak. If you want to see everything, height, and all, then we have to use X10. Okay, so this is all about the peak. So in next video, we will discuss some more stuff about signal processing. So thank you, friends. Thank you for watching this video.